Antonio Villaraigosa out at Pink's Hot Dogs, an iconic L.A. hotspot. He's actually in the back helping make some of those hot dogs and trying to convince voters that he is the next person who's going to be the best governor of California. And he's not the only one who's making the most of the final hours before the election. Candidates vying for the top spot at the state capitol, wasting no time trying to make every vote count. We're doing everything we can to make a case, taking absolutely nothing for granted right up until the election. In the race for California's governor, the front runners in the polls are Democratic Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom and Trump backed Republican John Cox. Only the top two will make it past this round and end up on the November ballot. If the polls are to be believed, uh, I'll be uh, in the top two with Mr. Newsom. And I, I, I don't know. I think the polls are probably going to be accurate. We'll see. But former L.A. Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa isn't giving up, trying to elbow his way back up the polls into the number two spot. My hope is get out of the primary and then there's an opportunity to have a debate. And that debate will be very different than a debate uh, between the front runner. Uh, and John Cox. John Chung spent his final day where the people know him best, the Bay Area, while Travis Allen held a rally in San Diego. Two other top races are on the ballot. U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein is facing off against State Senator Kevin DeLeon, who's challenging the senior senator for her longtime spot. And two people are trying to knock L.A. County Sheriff Jim McDonnell out of his position. And back here live out at Pinks, obviously we are hours away from the election. Antonio Villaraigosa working very hard here with a lot of people waiting in line for these hot dogs. But I think the biggest message here is just to get out and vote. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.